Jacob, how are you? I'm doing well, Dan. How are you? <laughs> really good, mate. So last week we had a call from the Penrith Fire Service about a rooftop isolator fire from a local property. I think it was in Cambridge Park. What? Rooftop uh, isolator was rooftop on fire. Rooftop isolator was on fire. We got a call from the fire brigade and uh, our ops team directed it to service. And our boy Jack uh, in the service department, he was a man with a plan. He got on there with a, a fun quip and got right to work. Calm as you like. Absolutely. Once, Absolutely. Once the ball under pressure, he, yeah. he lifted. Yeah, he, he made the entire office proud. He did. He did. And and look, ultimately, the fire service were looking for support. Uh, they didn't yes. know who installed the system. Right. We, we did not install the system. This was at about 11 o'clock in the morning, right? Yes. The panels were still producing mm -hmm. and um, obviously putting water on an electric fire that's live is, is not um, an ideal situation. They reached out to us. Jack took the call. Immediately, Alex then uh, reached out to every one of our installers. Uh, we had 14 trucks installing uh, on that day, um, which is a busy time mid-morning for our installers. They're usually preparing for, for panels at that point. It's a, it's a very much a all hands on deck part of the day between 11 and sort of one. Um, but luckily we had White Truck uh, led by Aaron Cattell. We had Mark, Zach and Gab as well to support the fire service in ext extinguishing this fire. So you've obviously interviewed Aaron, the crew leader since right. the incident. Um, we've got the isolator <laughs> here as well, yeah. which will show up on the screen. But ultimately guys, this story ends very, very well. The house was, was saved. Uh, there was no fire that spread to the rest of the home. This is... Uh, an important example of why we install the systems we install. So this system was a DC system, a string inverter. And one of the most common failure points is the rooftop isolator. And that's where the fire occurred. But ultimately, the fire service, um, not being electricians, they aren't equipped to work on a live switchboard. They're not equipped to work on electronics that are on fire. Mm -hmm. um, which again makes it very hard to defend the property. And we had Captain Burt visit visit here yeah. um, in the last few months and and talk about in the US how they respond to a fire emergency if it's if it's a string system versus a, an AC system. Yeah, just real quick, uh, the advantage of an end phase microinverter system in a situation like this that would have benefited the fire department and keep them from calling us would be true rapid shutdown, which uh, end phase systems have. String systems don't have it. Even some of our closed system competitors who brag about having rapid shutdown, which is just a switch mm -hmm. that kills the electricity coming from the solar. Uh, these folks don't have true rapid shutdown. There's still a little electricity in each panel mm -hmm. and there's electricity in the cabling coming down from the roof. And Correct. Right, right, right. So just so, to paint a yeah. picture, so we've got panels on the roof with a DC system and that power is coming down the cables to the inverter. You can shut the inverter off, but you can't shut off each panel. And that's the issue. That's the issue the fire brigade had mm -hmm. in being able to work this fire safely um, is not being able to shut the system down. So very, very s sticky and scary situation for the guys. Like the one, we're asking them to go on the roof of, of, of a site that's on fire mm -hmm. um, and deal live electronics potentially. No idea how this was installed. We have no idea what products are being used how things were done um, but again we do this day in and day out every day with our in-house team and they're able to to safely maneuver their way through the situation with the fire brigade and ultimately got a great outcome that's uh, i guess what happened last week uh, you know the homeowner is very thankful and it's we're very community oriented mm. you know we we care about penrith the western suburbs you know well all of sydney but um you know a, a neighbor needs some help we're there yeah if anyone else wants to learn about rapid shutdown, we've got an article on it in our learning center. Uh, and that, Jacob, does that go through the differences of what well, what rapid shutdown is and compares it to how you shut down a DC system versus AC system? 
hundred percent, hundred percent. The article is called "How Important Is Rapid Shutdown in a High Voltage DC Solar System?" And Dan, it's basically taking you through uh, what end phase microinverters are capable of producing, which is true rapid shutdown. You flip a switch on the side of the house, nothing coming down. They just snip off the energy power production. String inverters do not have true rapid shutdown. So uh, that ele extra electricity, if a firefighter is chopping through a roof sawing through a wall and they hit the conduit, you know, there's a real good chance that they could injure themselves quite severely. Now that you mention it, Aaron used blankets, yeah, yeah, as many of the did. panels as he could to, to kill as much of the power going through that circuitry that he was working on. So he, he was very much having to really assess what he, what he was uh, getting himself into. And like, you would expect he handled it with absolute class and got the job done well done to white truck aaron and the crew yeah uh our boys did well awesome